The People Station, 93.7 WBLK, home of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. I'm Yasmin Young. This is the 2 to 6 Takeover. And if you didn't know, the 42nd anniversary Juneteenth Festival is kicking off on Saturday and Sunday. This is the biggest festival in the United States, and we have it right here in Buffalo. Now, before we even actually get to the festival, though, there are events that are going on right now for Sankofa Days, and I have the pleasure of having Rhonda Turner, Project manager on with me. Hello, Rhonda. How you doing? Wonderful. So let's talk briefly about some of the events that are still happening today, tomorrow, and Friday. All right. We can definitely do that. Um, right now, we are in the middle of our Sankofa celebration. And it's a week-long celebration where we go back and fetch our history. So tonight, Wednesday, June 14th, we are going to have our Conscious Cafe Poetry Spoken Word Open Mic hosted by Paula Dia at the Empty Cup at 80 Oak Grove Avenue. Um, it's going to be a special tribute to uh, Smooth Lonnie B. And uh, he's also known as Love Doctor. So that's going to be from 6 to 8. We have um, that going on today, and we got that going on tomorrow over there at the Empty Cup. And on Friday is our praise and worship right at the Martin Luther King Park. So after we get through the Sankofa days, we're moving right on into festival territory. Talk to me about the parade and what we can expect during the actual festival. Well, I could definitely talk to you about the parade because I'm the former parade chair, and everybody knows that the Juneteenth Parade has the best and largest parade in Western New York, probably in New York State. So you definitely want to come out and um, get a piece of that. That starts at 11 o'clock. Um, we're also honoring, as our Grand Marshals this year, we're going to have Miss Agnes Bain from the African American Cultural Center and also Mr. Mark L. Fuller, and he is the community's father. He's um, one of the founding members of the uh, Stop the Violence Coalition. He's known for parties around the city. I'm excited to have both of them on board this year. Awesome. And then you've got a lot of different activities that are actually happening within the park from entertainment to a science fair. Talk to me about the science fair. I'm actually really curious about that because I think it's so important to get young people involved in STEM and understanding what STEM is, which if you don't know what STEM is, it's science, technology, engineering and math. And, you know, a lot of kids, they want to be in entertainment, but they don't think about those fields. So let's talk about the science fair. Absolutely. And I'm glad you brought it up that way, because it is definitely a growing field. We've been doing the Marcus Garvey um, science and technology tent for quite some time. Um, they will be doing experiments under that tent throughout the weekend. So that's Friday, or excuse me, that's Saturday and that Sunday, and it's free and open to the public. We want to see a lot of the kids getting hands on there. Um, we're also going to have similar activities around the park. I know Beam is going to be there, and they have a um, science program, or excuse me, an engineering program. Um, where a lot of other organizations will be with them and um, getting involved doing activities with the kids right in the park. They have a really awesome activity. I don't really want to spoil it, but you guys definitely want to come out and be a part of that. Awesome. Well, they can get more details on our website. We've got the arts and cultural performers and stage times on our website. We've got all of the activities and the list of events that are happening for the Sankofa Days and the Wifty Challenge. What is freedom to you? Thank you, Rhonda. And we are looking forward to it. And thank you for all of your hard work. Pass that on to the committee members, because I know that they are working very hard and diligently to make sure that everyone has a great Juneteenth festival. So thank you. Absolutely. And thank you, VLK, for your support. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend. And you can get all of the details at WBLK.com or using the new WBLK app. Just search WBLK Buffalo in your app store.